Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and initial impression review of my new wheels. Now they are to replace these ones which are my old Shimano C35 9000 wheels. They have done 100,000 kilometres. The wheels I've bought are Shimano Dura Ace 9100 C60s. So let's start by unboxing them out of the box. So this is the box. If you're actually interested in the box, it's crap. Um, you could actually easily impale yourselves on these things and end up in hospital. Nonetheless, we'll move on. In the box, you get these things, which are, well, it looks like skewers, some valve extenders, a spacer and the manual and all that kind of stuff. We'll come to that in a second. Then, let's take this cardboard out. So the front wheel first of all, so I had a bit of trouble getting the bag out but here's the front wheel. So this is it, the C60, mm, feels quite good, some little spacer things there uh, and the rim tape's already applied to it. Now for the back wheel. Again, we've got these little spacer things. I think my initial impression of that one is it's considerably more noisy and notchy than the uh, the 9000 C35s. Uh, yeah. So this is the accessory bag. Let's have a look to see what we get in it. We've got a skewer, that looks like the back one. The front skewer. Um, again, O-rings, valve extenders, and a spacer. And the manual. Now these are always user manuals now, so I think they're not even worth bothering with. You really want the dealer manual. Start off with some weights. This is the back wheel. And that's 1,020 grams. The back skewer is 66, 67 grams. So that's a combined weight of, well, it's almost 1.1 kilos. So now we have the front wheel, which is 824 grams, 825 grams. And the skewer, is 60 grams so yeah just under 900 grams for the pair there for the um, skewer and the wheel so what i've done here is i've put the wheel in my wheel truing stand just to show you some of the uh, the manufacturing oddities with this um wheel now the first thing is these spokes are bladed so there's nothing new in that the actual nipples are behind the rim tape, so you can't see them. Um, this aerofoil profile has been around for a long time, and people say, well, it's old and therefore rubbish. Um, I tend to disagree, but there we go. Uh, this braking track, now the machining quality actually on here is, is not great. Um, admittedly, machining aluminium is not straightforward because the material tends to gall, but the sort of bridge between the brake track and the uh, the dished shape of the wheel, that isn't what I would say was up to Shimano's best quality control, especially as this wheel set is a Dura-Ace wheel set. Um, when you run your finger over it, it feels quite rough. So just to get some measurements of the width, it's near as damn it, 17 millimeters. There's obviously some inaccuracy in using a vernier for this job and it's about 22 and a half millimeters across the uh, the total width of the brake track so one hot topic about these wheels has been the actual rim depth well they're not nowhere near 60 millimeters they are in fact 50 i don't know if you can just make that out but they are basically 50 mil so what i've done here is i have set up a dial test indicator uh, against the wheel rim in my wheel truing stand to see uh, what the 
the deflection in the wheel actually is. So that's in millimetres and we've got minus, well 0.05 to plus 0 0.04, 0 0.09. So there's about 0 0.15, 0 0.2 millimetres of, uh, of deviation. That's actually very good. While we're checking the rims out, there's only one thing of real note, and that's the join between the, um, well, it is one piece of metal, but where the join is radially, there's a definite you know, ridge or mark. I'm hoping you can just make that out, but it extends all the way across the rim over to the other side. If it's gonna break, it'll break here. So amongst major wheel manufacturers, Shimano is one of the few that still use cup and cone bearings and uh, this new Durace hub still has the same cup and cone bearings with these adjusters on. Now, just spinning it round, it feels extremely free, just a slight twirl and the thing just keeps going round and round and round. And that's probably because it's new, but nonetheless, this feels extremely well made. There's no play in there at all. That's just me lifting it out the wheel truing stand. So this is the rear hub and it is again very similar to my old C35 9000s. There is one noticeable difference and that is it is considerably noisier. It probably isn't apparent on the YouTube video but I can definitely hear it. Um, the bearings themselves, yeah, they're, they're very, very free. Again, this cup and cone system, I guess it's a proven design because Shimano use it in all of their wheels and they sell hundreds of them. The forging on this and the machining quality are all excellent. Um, and the way this has been laced, I've just done a run out on this wheel as well, and that was uh, 0.12 millimeters. So again, a very, very true wheel, considering it's just come from a factory. So I'm just doing a spin test now, and on the back wheel, instantly you can hear something. Now, I wasn't quite sure what that was until I've sussed it out. There's actually some debris in here uh, it's nothing to worry about, but nonetheless, when you spend this much on a set of wheels, £1,350, then you don't expect it, but you can definitely hear it. So that completes the initial unboxing and manufacturing tolerance check of my new Dura AC60 wheels. Initial manufacturing checks were very good. The run out was like 02 millimeters. That's hardly anything on something that's manufactured like this. Um, apart from this sort of ripple here, and the um, debris that was inside the wheel rim, I can't really fault them. The bearings run freely and there's no dents, dings or anything like that in the side of the rim. I'll do another review after a thousand kilometres to tell you how I've got on and uh, that'll encompass stuff like what it feels like on the road, how fast the wheels are and I guess a, a good comparison to my C35 wheels which have done a hundred thousand kilometres. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button and if you would like more content please check out the Hambini website. Thank you very much and until next time.